Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Um, we are continuing on with the Beguiled Eden to Armageddon series. We are on video number 46, DNA Reprogrammed. Human DNA reacts to language modulated laser, modulated laser rays and radio waves set at certain frequencies. Vibration and language used to invoke wave-generated genetics has been proven to exist by Russian biophysicists. Hopefully I don't botch, butcher this or botch this. It's P, capital P, J, O, T, R. Kajater, or the P might be silent. Jotter, Garja, sorry, Garja, Jev is the biophysicist name from Russia. As was discussed in Volume 1 of the Big Isle series, which I'm hoping I'll be able to get Volume 1 and Volume 3 soon. Um, once we are done with this book, I will be ordering one, one or the other, either the third book in the series, which I was really thinking about ordering before this one, but I'm happy I didn't because we can just move along from this one to that one, and it'll probably reference back to this book too. Okay. Sorry for the little, little mini tangent. Okay. He successfully transformed frog embryos into salamander embryos by transmitting DNA patterns from one to the other without having to splice them together, according to Grazina Fosser and Franz Bludorf's article, Scientists Prove DNA Can Be Reprogrammed by Words and Frequencies www.wakeup-world.com slash 2011 slash 07 slash 12. And I will put that in the description box. The scripture confirms using positive or negative words have power to biologically affect humans. Even positive music can cause plants to grow better and unpleasant music can kill them. I've heard about this in the past with plants. In fact, John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Yahuwah, and the Word was Yahuwah. We, along with everything around us, are indeed connected to our Creator through harmonic resonance, because pure sound wave vibration is how creation took place. The problem with what these Russian scientists are researching is that they want to secure an agenda away from Yahuwah. They are promoting ideology that is that if humans let go of their individuality, they will regain Yahuwah's knowledge by joining together in group consciousness or hive mind like bees to achieve Yahuwah-like powers with an ability to create, affect nature, natural laws, and change things. These men want to put the powers of combined biological DNA into a single laser using a group of people to penetrate the veil between our physical and spiritual dimensions. This DNA laser comes on the heels of CERN and a newly developed telescope using powerful lasers to penetrate our Shamayim, or heavens. Everything from the smallest to the largest of Yahuwah's creation is being tampered with. Their intent in using a DNA laser is to combine a metaphysical power, to combine metaphysical powers of unified brains to try and gain access to the mind of Yahuwah, especially since CERN found evidence of the of the Yahuwah particle or GOD particle in July 2012. DNA is very powerful and can store energy just like superconductors, with potential to heal or kill depending on the frequency. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Proverbs 16, 24. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. Proverbs 12, 18. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the ruach, or in the spirit. In the future, a new world order will demand people connect to universal collective consciousness, just like computers, smartphones, and tablets connect to the World Wide Web, and anyone refusing will be targeted. 
Satan as Messiah will control masses of people using the right frequency aimed at their pineal gland that will stimulate a series of pre-programmed DNA reactions. Just like binaural beats do to the brain by producing a phantom beat, this powerful connection, connection to, the, to his universal, con, universal consciousness is his mark of the beast because those who accept it believe they can live forever in the flesh by having their DNA regenerated and recharged through such a collective connection. Unfortunately, men will want to die as painful sores start covering their skin from DNA whose frequency has been manipulated so they cannot die. Because their connection to the beast through his mark can never be broken. Just like worker bees to their queen, unless she dies, they will suffer in ways unmanageable as death eases suffering. But with death no longer an option, their pain will go on and on. This outcome is not a pretty picture like Satan and his army will have people believe when they begin pushing the mark of the beast on humanity in order for them to buy, sell, or trade. Once a person allows Satan's mark to reprogram their DNA using evil words and frequencies away from Yahuwah's original setup, their suffering will not just last during Yahuwah's great wrath, but for all eternity. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Revelation 9.6 Choosing to follow Yahusha releases a resonance of spiritual power created within us to overcome such evil. Mark 16, 16 through 18 says believers in Yahushua can use his name to cast out demons. For example, when a person experiences paranormal activity manifest manifesting around them, or if threatened with alien or fallen, a fallen angel abduction, <clears throat> they can call on Yahushua and the sound of his name hits these beings with a powerful blow and evil has to stop. All evil manifestations are forced to depart as the oppressed human regains control. Yahushua possesses unlimited and superior power over our enemy, Satan. Mark 3.11 explains evil does not have power when Yahushua shows up because all demonic beings know he is the son of Yahuwah. As already mentioned, to defeat evil requires a person fervently call on Yahushua to help and acknowledge Yahushua as their Adonai and Savior. <coughs> This is the only perfect and sure way to stop demonic activity. The whole armor of Yahuwah is necessary for, for humanity to wear. Any hole in that armor, and Satan targets it with a vengeance. Not being a believer and trying to cast out evil spirits will cause them to attack even more per Acts 19, 13 through 20. Satan, just like, just like Yahusha, knows one's heart and mind by the positive or negative energy that they are vibrating. The biological vibration is like a perfect lie detector because you cannot beat the system. Keeping your head covered with the helmet of salvation frees you from an attack on your pineal gland. Most people do not keep their mind on Yahuwah and it is, very, it is the very area Satan is going to go after because controlling it allows him to destroy your body. Jamming a pineal receiver means a human body will respond to only him. For any current to flow, it requires an open channel to enter and pass through. Electromagnetic waves of speech produce vibrational currents in the brain. Words are a form of energy that cannot be stopped. This energy, known as telekinesis, forms telecommunication that affects our pineal gland. Every thought is recorded in the brain and, and explains why Yahuwah says in scripture, he knows all your ways. Our words, thoughts, and deeds produce audio and visual waves. Humans are transmitters and receivers, just like a TV, radio, computer, or smartphone that sends out and receives waves. As these waves reach their designated antenna, which is open to receiving them, then the waves carrying all the words and pictures are, tra are transposed back into images and sound where they are no longer waves. When a human brain fires out thoughts and words, they become an electrical wave of energy accessible within our entire universe. So when you, you just lust in your heart, Yahuwah knows about it, about it just as scripture contends. Like all other electric vibrations, whether earthquakes, heartbeats, etc., your thoughts are being recorded. This means if you say a fake prayer, Yahuwah and Satan are aware 
It did not come from a convicted heart and, and soul or heart and ruach. Because Yahuwah has greater powers than Satan. He can hear a prayer uttered by one's ruach, speaking in tongues or groaning internally. Satan cannot interpret what a soul or a ruach has said directly to its creator. Scripture has always declared Yahuwah knows everything. And now science is literally proving it. Because our pineal gland is, is a receiver and a transmitter of thought vibrations. Nothing can be hid from Yahuwah. This is why Yahuwah uses mankind's consciousness to convict through his Ruach HaKodesh. And why in the end he seals his 144,000 remnant in their foreheads. So he can maintain communication with them. Everyone else refusing conviction and the need for repentance will be doomed. And the rest of men, which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, they did not repent. That they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, but which neither can see, nor hear, nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Revelation 9, 20 through 21. According to Revelation, the whore of Babylon is cast away when Yahusha returns because she is a mixed religion. The bride of Yahusha is pure. When saints join Yahusha during his, it says, rapture, but we know it's not the rapture. We're going to see all of the tribulation and all of the pain and everything that happens to the sinners and the lawless. But we are going to be full of joy because we are with Yahusha. Or catching away, she put. They enjoy a marriage feast with the Lamb and will, and will return as his bride to rule and reign with Yahushua for a thousand years on earth, or, or, or a rest. Mixing which came into physical existence between Kua, or Eve, and, this, and the serpent in Eden, will be removed and replaced by Yahuwah's institution of marriage, perfected in the pure bride of Mashiach, Yahushua. This will destroy, destroy forever the hold Satan ha has had on mankind by using his tainted lineage, born outside the will of Yahuwah, to rule over earth. In the beginning, Adam was given power over Yahuwah's creation, but he failed to rebuke the serpent as Yahuwah had instructed, which allowed Satan to inappropriately mix with Kua or Eve. Adam failed in his role as husband to his wife, Yahuwah takes both physical and spiritual marriage very seriously, or he would not have created it for Adam and Kua or Adam and Eve to follow in the first place. In the coming millennium, Yahusha will not fail his bride and will rule with a rod of iron. Even after the, the thousand year reign, when Satan is released unlike Adam, Yahusha protects his bride as well as those on earth who believe in him and destroy Satan forever. Then Yahuwah's great white throne of judgment will take place. If a person's name is not written in the book of life, they will be sent into, into eternal damnation with Satan forever. This does not mean lights out, lights out, but the worst nightmare one can, ever, one can imagine going on for all eternity nonstop. Satan is revving up his engines because he knows what his destiny is about to become. The scripture clearly spells it out as a living hell or a living Sheol. Next time we will be reading Sinusoidal Oscillating Pulse or Divine Words. And another short one is, I believe, yes, uh, the picture of sound. But that one goes more with music to die for. So I will be reading those two together because um, Music to Die For is a longer chapter. So next time we'll just be reading Sinusodial Oscillating Pulse Divine Words. So that one is just a page and a quarter. And then uh, the next time we'll be reading two, a longer chapter and a shorter chapter together because the Divine Words with the Sinusodial, or wait, no. The Divine Words, hold on. Sorry. The picture of sound goes very well with music to die for. So we'll be reading those together. 
And then after that, the next video after that one will be Abominable Flesh. And that one may, may have to be cut into extra video parts because uh, it is a longer chapter. I love you all with an everlasting love as our Abba Yahuwah and the Shamayim loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth.